That is Senator Ted Stevens of Alaska. He's been in the news a lot lately for all the wrong reasons. Back in June, Stevens acknowledged that he was uh, under scrutiny as part of a public corruption investigation. Then July, FBI agents raided his house outside of Anchorage. And tonight, we've got some breaking news to report. We've learned that the FBI secretly taped phone calls between Stevens and a wealthy businessman. Senator Stevens? That's me. Have you heard the news, sir? No. Well, you've been indicted by the DA's office. Uh, it's a bribery charge. Anyone that tries to pretend that somehow or other we're violating the law is a liar. No, they're, they're not pretending, sir. They've, they've got the documents. It's not looking good. I love sweet potatoes. And I know you do, sir, but I've stopped this week's shipment. It's not safe. I think it's all over. I have a piece of chocolate every morning. Yes, I, I know you do, and I've had to assassinate your personal caterer because of it. She knew too much. You're, you're, you're just, you're just you're a nutritional terrorist, that's all. And you haven't yet delivered on your promise, Senator Stevens. Didn't you get the last bribe that we left for you? He put in the mailbox. He did put in the mailbox, right next to your sweet potatoes of the week. I took the Postmaster General through. Why in God's name would you do that? He's a credible witness. He saw our agent at your house. They use FedEx. They use the, the delivery services. They, they use the mail. And now they'll have to use their anal cavity to smuggle cigarettes to their cellmate. How could you be so stupid? I didn't expect that. Some people think I expected it. I didn't expect that. Nobody expected it. Why would you have known? Why? Because he got tangled up with all of these things. Yeah, we're all tangled up in something now, Senator. There's really only one way out. You're going to have to take the stand. Mm -hmm. And don't complicate this issue with trying to say something that could be misunderstood. No, I don't want you to be misunderstood. I want you to be understood. I want you to lie your ass off in the deposition. I lie a lot. Yeah, I know you lie, and you also kill polar bears for sport. What's your point, sir? There's not one endangered species that uh, we have uh, protected. Uh... Protected? You made polar bear pies out of them. I saw the report on it. How many did you make? Ninety-nine! And for what purpose could you possibly do that? For massive, massive com uh, uh, commercial purposes. And then what, you ship them to the continental states in a truck? It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. Oh, so you distributed polar bear pies through a series of tubes. What a nefarious scheme, Senator. That's me. And also, according to this report, you package them with illegally acquired laminated fish testicles. Uh, we have uh, protected uh, the, the reproductive capability of our fish. Uh. Well, that's certainly an odd way to do that. You even attempted to pass a bill forcing Hostess Cupcakes to buy and market your polar bear cream pies. That, uh, that bill affected Alaska more than anywhere. Well, even John McCain says you've gone too far this time. And McCain's wrong in that. Uh, even the president's wrong on that. Well, regardless of whether they're wrong, Senator, they've sent your pies off uh, in gift baskets to Fannie Mae stockholders. And I challenge them. If it was back in the days, I'd challenge them to a duel. Good, good. You go duel. I'll be in New Zealand. You can contact me there. It's hell in the wintertime. Whatever. Bye. No. Yes. I know the end is near, and so I face. Well, the well, there's one company now. You, you can you can get sign up and you can get a, a, a movie delivered to your house. I call it music, baby. A liar! A liar! A liar. Stop I'm going on the, on, the, on, the, on the the internet. And the digital demander said minus ninety nine. I travel it. And it's there for the consumer. We do that. Much more than this, I did.